Anatomy, this is not going to be the most fun video, but I will try and help you out here. Um, this structure right here is a thyroid cartilage. The white bone that's right up above that, right underneath the chin, is the hyoid bone. Here, this chicken nugget is the thyroid gland. Inside the striped is the trachea. You have your um, right and left common carotid arteries. You have your right and left jugular veins, okay? Here is the clavicle. Underneath the clavicle, this side happens to be the left side, so you have your left subclavian artery, the red one, your left subclavian vein. Here's your right subclavian artery, the red one. Blue is your right subclavian vein. Here you have your right lung left lung and the left lung also has the notch to open up for the heart. Now we're going to keep on going. We're going to get this heart out of the way for now. You have trachea leading down to the bifurcation of the trachea. Behind here that looks like a tamale, that's the esophagus and the esophagus leads to um, the stomach and that's what you use to eat with. The trachea is what you use for breathing and to get the oxygen. We'll move the liver. This white structure beneath the lungs all the way across, that is the diaphragm. The opening right here is the foramen of the vena cava. Foramen means opening or hole. I'm going to go ahead and remove the intestine package here. You have your right and left kidneys, right and left adrenal glands, the little Doritos, the blue vein that goes in or out of the kidneys are the right and the left renal veins, and renal means kidney. This big thick red artery is the abdominal aorta. The thick blue vein is part of the vena cava. Purple baseball bat or baseball glove is the spleen. Okay, so following down from the abdominal aorta, you've got right red and left red common iliac arteries. Following down from the vena cava, you've got the blue right common iliac vein and the blue left common iliac vein. This is your bladder. We missed something here. This is the abdominal part of the esophagus where it attaches to the stomach. I said bladder, okay? The green boogers, those are your lymph nodes. The red artery here is the left femoral artery. This blue artery here is the left greater saphenous vein. And now let's look at the intestines. So here you've got the small intestines. This cheese substance is fat, known as the greater omentum. The great big chicken wing here with the fish bone in it, that's the pancreas. Okay, the dark outer edge is a type of intestine. It's the large intestine. And we have ascending, transverse, and back here is descending. So I've turned the intestine package around. So ascending begins with the appendix. So appendix, which is part of the large intestine, also known as the colon. Ascending colon, back around the front is the transverse colon. And you descend to dookie, okay? This green piece here is another piece of the common bile duct. This next structure, obviously, is the stomach, okay? Then you have the liver. You've got the liver. Up here, this is part of the vena cava. Let's turn the liver over. On the underside of the liver, you have vena cava. That's the blue. You have this large green bag, which is the gallbladder. And of the green alien finger, okay, 
The green alien finger, this part here is the gallbladder. Uh, excuse me, common bile duct. That's what that is, common bile duct. And you have your um, portal vein of the liver, that's the purple. Okay, so let's talk about the heart for a moment. The heart's in correct anatomical position. This darkened red area here is the coronary artery. We can turn the heart over and you can see the coronary artery also extending here, red. This big, large blue vein is the uh, coronary vein. Turning the heart back over, we can remove the top. So it's in correct anatomical position. Okay, um, you have your superior and down here inferior vena cava. Blood will flow into the right atrium, through the right ventricle, up through this pulmonary trunk. The blood will then exit the right and left pulmonary arteries. It's all deoxygenated. It will go out to the lungs, pick up the oxygen, return to the heart via these red guys, the pulmonary veins. You have your right and left, and you have superior and inferior. The blood that comes back into the heart is oxygenated. It got it from the lungs. It will then go into the left atrium, the left ventricle, up through the aorta. If the blood is going superiorly to the top half of the body, it'll go out through the aortic arch that has three exits. The first exit is the brachiocephalic. Remember, we can't see brachiocephalic in our models because it goes deep behind, um, basically behind the trachea area. Our second exit could be the carotid artery, which is the red artery that goes up along next to the neck. We have our third exit. It could go all the way out through the subclavian arteries. Those are the ones that go just below the clavicle. Or if the blood is going to um, perfuse the bottom half of the body, it would come out of the aorta and then go down through the abdominal portion of the aorta and then perfuse the bottom half of the body.